Many times, faith can answer our prayers, help our troubled souls, and fill our hearts with hope and love. For Pastor Lonnie Green and his wife Karen, their faith in God is their life. For 10 years, the Greens prayed for a miracle. After 10 years of waiting, the Greens' first child, Dalen, was born. Shortly after, the Greens found out that they were expecting another gift into their lives, a gift that would come much sooner than expected. When the doctor came in and said, uh, you're going to have the baby today, I kind of went into a state of shock, uh, just thinking of all the stuff that needed to be done at home. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'd known the Greens for a year when their first child was born, Dalen, and then uh, he was uh, about a month early but had no problems. And then because of a problem with uh, Alana's mom's placenta, uh, she came early. She came at 31 weeks, or which is approximately nine weeks early. That's a situation that just, you know, it has so many highs and lows in it, and, and, and the support and, and the care that we received was just, it was excellent. When Alana first arrived, I was at her delivery, and I was able to um, see the anxiety of um, the family there because they were all worried that, you know, a premature baby, they weren't expecting it. We had a lot of family coming in from out of town and um, we asked if, if, if they could move her a little closer to the window because we there was not a lot of contact for Alana. That was really hard. There was not a lot of contact. And it was just really, you know, she'd be in a little isolated and we just really couldn't, I mean, she was so little. When they're born that early, we, had, we had attend the delivery to make sure from the very beginning that if there's anything wrong with the baby, we can take care of it. Dr. Weiner uh, was always um, real instrumental in, in uh, helping us to uh, uh, cope with the, the fact whether or not we had to uh, take uh, Alana to, to cook or whether or not we had to uh, keep her here in San Angelo. He was uh, just real patient and he explained everything to us. The thought of having to transport their baby to another city was troubling for the Greens. That helicopter always uh, will always signify how close we were to having her being sent to Cooks and not being able to stay here with us. We were just blessed that everything in San Angelo was uh, equipped to take care of uh, our child. Because of um, what was available here at, at Shannon and, and the hospital and, and, and here in town locally, um, it was just so important and, and, and just so meaningful to us because that made the difference. It made all the difference in the world to us at that particular time, in our time of need. The blessings kept coming for the Greens, but this time twofold. Lo and behold, uh, Mom became pregnant again and had this time the joy of having twins. It was a shocker, uh, but as, as we went along, I uh, just uh, took it in stride and I, I considered myself uh, highly blessed. And, and uh, it's been a, a roller coaster ever since. <laughs> <laughs> the twins were born uh, also early, but not as early as Lana. They were born at a, only about five or six weeks early. We were dealing with a low birth weight, and they wanted to monitor them, um, being that they were early and they were twins. Through the help of the Children's Miracle Network, the doctors and nurses at Shannon Medical Center are able to care for the needs of families like the Greens right here in San Angelo. The Children's Miracle Network was very helpful with the twins because after the very first, one of the very earlier uh, telethons with the money we raised, we were able to purchase an isolate that was just for uh, twins and uh, especially premature twins. We were able to just put them in there together and, um, and care for them together and the parents were able to get on both sides and actually um, provide in the care um, with both of them at the same time. We feel that's helpful with twins and that they've been together in the womb. It helps staying together, helps them nurture, stay warm, grow quicker, and get out of the hospital sooner. It's been a real blessing and we had Children's Miracle Network to thank for that. Anybody that uh, is going through um, or is going through what we have gone through, uh, they, they do, do such a great job in and they're instrumental in making the family feel welcome, loved, uh, yes. cared about. And I can't say enough about Shannon Hospital. Uh, there's no other place that we would have rather uh, had our children than Shannon. Anytime children are born early, there's risks can happen. And we sometimes take it for granted now we've gotten better in how we uh, take care of them. But each and every one of those children is a miracle child. Please support the Children's Miracle Network 
and help a miracle family just like ours.